What is up guys, it's Adam Bomb, and finally welcome back to some Poly Bridge. I'm so excited to be playing it again, but the reason I haven't uploaded another episode is because I actually lost a recording. As you guys can see, I am in Zen Gardens right now. I really don't want to have to go back and feign my completing of these levels, so we're just going to start off where I left off and I might do those again sometime. These levels are getting a lot harder. This is called the Triple Dump by Zauto. So I think that the most structurally sound thing to do for any level like this is do an arch. I've tried other ways of doing it and it just doesn't work as well. Alright, so that looks like a pretty good arch. I don't know, I could probably uh, move this out a tiny bit and try and make it a little archier, but I think that I'm gonna finagle with the road curve later and then we'll get to the nitty-gritty here in a second. So it looks like this is gonna be one of those levels where there's pretty much no other choice than to use the sides of the level here. So I'm going to get as close as I can. So one of the things I didn't know that might be helpful to you guys that also play this game is that once you set it down and get the, this is pretty much as close as you can get it, you can actually move it a little bit closer with the control button. So that's something I didn't know until recently. Surprisingly, I've been playing this game so much and it's something I didn't know. All right, so now it just gets back to our typical level design where we have to make this work somehow. Uh, it's perfectly against the wall, which is good. But now I have to make the all the road different all the different road pieces fit together really well. All right, guys, this is what I've come up with so far. We're gonna run a rough test. It actually does hold up surprisingly, but yep, once we get more than one truck on there, it does not work anymore. Gotta come up with some solution here. All right, so I'm just making tiny little changes here and there, adding a little bit more steel. We are under the budget. Actually, this is working, and it's just breaking a little bit. Okay. So I'm gonna try a few different things and then we'll come back. All right, so we're over budget now, but if things hold up, I'm not gonna worry about that. Oh, of course it wouldn't hold up. This level is gonna be just ridiculous. What the hell just happened there? Did you guys see that fly away? What the hell? All right guys, so I came up with a new design by lowering the arch and spacing things out differently. After a few tries, things just weren't going well with the old arch, so I'm gonna really hope this works. Uh, this is just one of those super tinkery levels, so just sit back and relax and hopefully we'll figure this out soon. All right, let's try out this new arch. It looks like it's a little bit better. Uh, just it's so much pressure having all three of those trucks right there. Ah, all right, I really gotta do something about this. I think I'm gonna look this up a little and see if I can think of anything. All right guys, so I saw something cool on some similar bridges and I'm gonna come on, come in with these little braces here and I think that should make our bridge a lot stronger. All right, so we want them to be spaced very closely. It's just basically like having triple the amount of support here. And then I'm gonna connect them with wood and we'll see if that works. And we're gonna do the same over here. So this could be a technique that you guys use in your own bridges. I just have never seen this used before and I think it's pretty clever. All right guys, so I use these little weird things that I found out. I'm not the most clever guy in the world, so occasionally I'm gonna need help to beat some of these really hard levels. So anyways, let's try it out and see if this will be enough. Um, I don't want the bridge to break and we are over budget by about 6,000, so that would be a lot of tweaking we'd have to do. Um, some of these guys, I'm not gonna worry about the budget too much because I think that, oh, it already broke. is gonna be a lot to do about nothing and I'd rather just beat the levels. All right, well, we did this one. I'm gonna come back and work that budget again someday. Uh, it's just not gonna be right now. Okay, this is two by two, so we only have 16 roads, so that kind of already limits the possibilities here. Um, but we have to get four cars across, and let's just see how they go. Okay, all right, so now we know that since only two cars go at a time, which makes sense, it's two by two, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna have to use hydraulics, unfortunately. All right, so there's our road. That's pretty much the only way we can do the road. I, I can't think of any other really creative way to do things, and we have anchor points here. So that's where the hydraulics are gonna have to be connected to. So let's come up with our foundation. I usually like doing something like this for steel, and I think we're gonna need to use steel. Uh, we have a slightly lower budget than we did last time, and with hydraulics, things can get kind of weird sometimes, so we'll see what happens. The song that we're hearing right now reminds me a lot of Hey Soul Sister. You guys remember that song? Yeah, this song 
this beat kind of sounds like it and then it kind of drops off from it. Anyways, that was incredibly random. I'm going to get back to building the foundation for this sucker. So we're just going to see if this holds this time. That's all I want to know and it doesn't. It's so close though. So we're going to have to raise this one up. All right, all that matters is that is good enough. So we can try and save some more budget by using wood. All right, those are supposed to fall. So I'm going to try and use wood here and see if that helps us out at all. Yep, we can totally get away with using wood here. That is fine. All right, so that saved us about a thousand bucks, which I'll take. Uh, this is going to be one of those levels where we're going to be pushing the budget again. All right, let's figure out how we're going to do the hydraulics here. All right, so for the lower one, I'm thinking I'm going to use some steel. Let's put the hydraulics up as high as they go. Uh, maybe not quite as high as they go, like right here. All right, and since we're in grid mode, we do have to kind of move this over a little bit. That's just fine. So I'm going to put steel and connect it like that. And I hope that does the trick. So let's move this one over and this one over as far as we can. And we're just going to see if that does the trick. I want to see how far it's going to raise it up and if it actually holds it all together. So let's make these hydraulic. All right. So, so far, so good. Should probably increase the speed, but, and it breaks. Okay. That's not good. So, oh boy. Okay, I'm going to need to raise this up a little bit, I think, then. And we'll see if that works. I'm just going to keep raising it until we don't have any more problems. Alright, so I got a new idea. I'm not going to use the hydraulics there. I am going to use them here. So I don't know if that's going to help at all, but we're going to have to try. Alright, show me, show me the magic. Yes, it's working perfectly, guys. It's just too high. All right, so if we do it that high, it also breaks, so let's fix that. Contract to 40%. It's all about little minor adjustments in these really hard levels, guys. I think we're gonna have some interesting troubles trying to fix stuff like that. Okay, that's almost perfect. Actually, it's fine, uh, and I think it'll hold together as long as we don't have the second one trying to get us. What? We only have one hydraulic left? How am I supposed to make that work? How am I supposed to only use one hydraulic? Ah, oh, God. This is going to be interesting. So, I think the only way this is going to work is we're going to have to raise it from a high point. Man, this is going to be really difficult. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make it pretty much as tall as I can. We're still slightly okay on budget, but we're getting to that very close point. So we need to make sure our hydraulic joints are set up properly. This is going to be a challenge. Let's set this one. And then we definitely want this one to stay on one. Uh, so I don't know what, what's going to happen then if we lower it. Is it going to, it's going to swing. It's going to swing like crazy. So I don't know. Let's see what happens when we do it. It's going to drop down and it's going to just swing around and probably break. Okay, so that's not good. All right. So what I'm going to try and do is have one of these things here too. Okay, and this one's going to have a cable and we're going to try and see if that cable will keep it steady enough. All right, so let's see. Is this going to be stable enough? Oh no, it's contracting it. Um, no, bad. I want you to expand. I don't know why I didn't notice that before, but we want it to expand to like, we'll try 40. Let's try 40. Okay. This is sort of working guys. This is sort of working. Okay. All right. So now I want this to contract or I mean expand all the way to 50 and I think that might work. So let's speed this part up and then we'll go back to hundred percent. Oh, is it gonna be is it gonna be enough? Yes, it's doing it. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Swing down. Swing down. Swing down. No Guys, it's it's just almost there. Holy crap. And why isn't this one finishing either? That's so weird. Yeah, yeah this one's stuck here for some reason That's so weird all right, so let's just change this to contract to 41% or 
or no, we want it to be like 39. That's super weird. Okay, I think it's gonna work, guys. Oh, it's still getting stuck. Still. Okay, guys, look at this. Look at this. I managed to get the top one to actually go over. This is like a freaking miracle. It's I've been tweaking this for so long. I don't even know how it managed to get over, but I did it. This one, this one, guys. I'm about to I'm about to freak out at it. I don't know why it keeps getting stuck there. All right, guys, I just made a few tweaks here. I changed the contraction slightly. I don't know, this is like try 500 on this level and I've already been recording for an hour. Oh, just please work. Holy crap. Oh my God, and we actually did pretty well. Um, material footprint, we got 136. We almost set the record for the material footprint, guys. We were 0 0.0, oh no, we did. We somehow did set the record for the material footprint, which is crazy. Definitely not for budget and definitely not for max joint stress, but I think this was a pretty creative solution. I'm sure, well, actually by the curves, it seems like a bunch of other people must have used the same design that we had. It looks like there's a peak there and there's like some weird peaks here. So probably some very similar designs out there to mine, but somehow I might have set the record for the material footprint. Um, I don't know how, I only did it by 0 0.01, but that might not be how things work. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Polybridge. I know we only got two levels done, but God, they took forever. I've been recording for an hour now, and oh, man, uh, I'm sorry we missed two levels, but next time I'll try and get even more done. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode, and I'll see you in the next one.